What do you got? What do you got? You got Milo's birthday present? You got Milo's birthday present? Look guys, I had to show you. Milo, what did, stop eating grass. I had to show you guys. The sun, oh where is it? The sun is out, it's behind the tree over, no, no, it's up here. There it is. <laughs> I think I got it, I think I'm blinded now. <laughs> the sun is out today. Still a little humid, still a little humid. It rained more last night, but the sun is out today. I'm so happy. Um, got to do some running around today. I've got to take Mozzie's um, blood pressure medicine. I picked it up the other day from the surgical center. And last time they had cut it for me. Because I don't know if you remember from a past video I was complaining. My pill cutter wasn't cutting his, their little tiny blood pressure meds. And my pill cutter wasn't cutting... Um, the pills very well um, and the second time I got it they had cut them well this time they didn't so I called up there and said hey could I bring those by and have you guys cut those for me because my pill cutter is terrible at cutting those little pills it just slides off the pill and just kind of crushes the one side he's got to take one in the morning and one at night so um, so I've got to run up there drop those off thankfully they're only like a seven minute drive down the road it's not far at all so got to do that I've got to mail a thank you card I've got to go to my husband's office um yeah oh Milo's going potty we don't need to show that <laughs> so getting the boys outside so they can do their business and um I can get going and do some running around Here's the uh, rain we got yesterday. Almost, almost an inch. So what's that, about three-fourths inch? Was I even getting that on camera? <laughs> All right, let's pour this out. Pour it out, and we'll see what the next rainfall gets us. All right, guys, I'm back from running a couple of my errands. I still have a couple to do. I needed to come home and uh, feed the boys and let them outside. Because um, something got thrown into my errands that I wasn't expecting. My husband said, hey, let's go have lunch, which I was extremely happy to get some lunch. <laughs> so I stopped by my P.O. box, and I had a couple things in there. What are you barking about? Um, I thought I only had one letter in there, but I ended up having a package and a couple letters. So, um, I wanted to share what Linda sent me. She sent me this cute schnauzer charm on a necklace. I love it. Thank you so much, Linda. And she also sent, um, she sent me a card and then I got a letter from her too. Um, may have been there before the box or the box came before the letter. I'm not sure. But I got the letter to Linda, and she also sent the boys some uh, strawberry banana chips and some apple chips, and they're fat-free. And I never thought about just getting um, dehydrated uh, people food, I guess you'd call it. Um, and I already gave them one, each of the uh, strawberry banana chips. I ate one too, um, and they loved them. So thank you so much, Linda. That was a great idea. And then I also got this card, and look at this. And this card was from, I believe, Anne. Yes, Anne. And she said this card reminded her of Mr. Grant and her um, dog, I believe the name was Ollie. Yes, Ollie. She also sent a donation to Mr. Grant's upcoming surgery, so we appreciate it very much. And love this picture. Um, and then I got a card from Natalie and Walter. Um, she wanted to wish Miggy and Milo a happy belated birthday. And she reminded me in the card that she was our, she's been watching a long time, and she was our five, when we hit 5,000 subscribers, she won our 5,000 subscriber giveaway. So, and yes, I remember because I believe you also either emailed me or somehow sent me a video of Walter um, opening up his prize. So yes, I do remember. 
<laughs> and here, she sent me a picture too of Walter. Isn't he handsome? He's so handsome. Looks like he got freshly groomed for that photo. <laughs> or, or at least a, a good scrubbing in a bath. He's so handsome. Thank you for the card, Natalie, and the picture. So, yes, and I found out when we were eating lunch, um, uh, friends of ours were also at the diner, and we were talking to them. Let me get my phone and go out, and um, I can show you something more exciting. I can show you the boys while I'm talking. Hold on. Thought I'd get Kitten on film. Kitten, no one ever sees you. You're usually upstairs sleeping. <laughs> when I came home just a little bit ago, him and Merlin were snuggled up on this chair together. It was so cute. Here's Merlin over here. He's in his window seat watching birdies, looking out for the neighbor's cats. The neighbor's cat, one of the cats comes up and gets in this window and him and Merlin just stare at each other forever. And when the boys start barking, because the cats are, the cat has no care in the world. He don't even care they're barking. So um, my neighbor said he was, a, it's a rescue kitty. He's one and a half years old. And um, so maybe it used to live with dogs, but it has no care when these dogs are barking in the window at him. He, it's almost like he says, let me come in and play. <laughs> so yeah, so we were at lunch and ran into some friends that were also eating and we were talking to them and my my husband and our friend the gentleman he um they're both part of the american legion um and the american legion here um in swartz creek who my which my husband is a part of has a cabin uh uh more north than us in michigan uh, Higgins Lake, right on Higgins Lake. And when you earn so many points doing different things at the American Legion, you can, um, stay at the cabin for free. You can use it. Um, and I figured it was all filled up because we didn't think we'd be able to go, um, because of our dogs, but they said, oh no, you can take your dogs up there. So I was super excited. <laughs> And I asked um, our friend, I said, well, because he's in charge of the time slots and approving people um, to stay up there. He said, now it's in September, which is still warm here in September. Um, he said there was still a couple weekends and some weekdays left. Um, so he's going to be sending my husband uh, the dates that they have available. And as long as it works out with my husband's work schedule, we'll be taking ourselves and all the boys up north and staying at a cabin on the lake yes and i'm so excited because um i mean i won't be able to have it's not fenced in or anything so i won't be able to have all the boys outside with me but um it'll be exciting to see them up by the lake see what they think of the water especially mr grant um because our goal in a couple years is to maybe get a place on the lake up north i don't know um and I always tell my husband, I, I hope it happens before, you know, because Mr. Grant, he's 13 years old. Um, hopefully we still have three, four, five more years with them, but you never know. And I always tell him, I hope we get that place up there so we can see, um, take him on the lake. So it's so exciting that we're going to be able to go up there, hopefully, in September. And we get to take all our boys with us. That's one of the things... Um, we used to be able to go on, I think the last time we went up north was two years ago when we went up to Oscoda. I shared it here on, on YouTube. Um, I think it was two years ago. And my mother-in-law was still able to take care of our dogs and we didn't have Mr. Grant. Mozzie wasn't on all of his medications at that time, so she would take care of him. But um, she's gotten older and she has her health issues. So... Um, we she was who we trusted to watch our dogs and there's really no one else that we trust and especially with all the boys medications now um that's a lot for someone to take care of uh so we haven't been able to go um north for a couple years so i'm so excited we can go and our boys can go with us too and be with us so um i'm really happy so <laughs> i'm hoping he gets those dates to him and i'm hoping um 
we'll be able to do that this September. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to share that exciting news. I'm, I'm just, I'm giddy about it because I love going up north, Michigan. It's nothing like heading north uh, for a weekend um, in Michigan. So um, yeah, so we'll have to, uh, I don't know if I'll like take all their crates with us. Look at these two fold up all their crates and take them up. I probably will because if we go out to dinner or do something like that, they're going to be in a house they don't know and I don't want them just roaming around and my dogs are good, but you never know. Even in my own house, that's why I put them in crates when I leave to go on errands. Um, so we'll probably have to fold up all their crates, take them up with us. Um, and Milo always wins the tug of war. Miggy always says, whatever. <laughs> Miggy always says, okay, you can have it. <laughs> Look at him over here. And Milo's always happy. He's like, yes, I got it. <laughs> He's the annoying little brother. Yes, he is. <laughs> That's funny. It's funny. You know their order of age by the way they act. It's it's really funny. Um, so anyways, um, yeah, so I'm going to sit here just for a little bit. And just sit here and watch the dogs, watch the birds outside. I don't know if you can see that blue jay out there. We had five blue jays out here the other day. And a couple cardinals were out there too, northern cardinals. Watch the birds. Just sit here and relax for a little bit. And then I got to head out. Still got to take those pills to the surgical center and have them cut them up for me. And... I have to run by Meyer and grab a couple things. Oh, I did want to mention too, I had posted that video of um, what I feed my boys, what dog food I use. Um, I've had a couple comments, uh, basically, oh, I'd never feed them science diet. I'd never this, I'd never that. Um, my video was just to, because a lot of people wonder what I feed my dogs. My video wasn't meant to be, oh, this is what you should feed your schnauzers <laughs> or your dogs. That video was just, this is what I feed my boys because a lot of people wonder what I feed my boys. So um, every dog, as I've said in many videos along the way on this channel, every dog is different. Every dog's digestive system is going to respond to certain foods differently. So it, it all depends on the dog, on what you feed them, and what you feel is best for your dog. So just wanted to make that clear. The video was just sharing what I feed them, not that that's what you're supposed to feed your dogs. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my goodness. I get that comment a lot um, on what I feed my dogs and that I should feed them something different. And then I also get the comment about their sorry about the break in the video guys, but I decided to edit out the second topic that I always get a nasty comment about because it's just too, it's too controversial of a subject. And I decided when I was watching the video, I shot back that, um, I just shouldn't talk about it. <laughs> Because then I'm just inviting more nasty comments. So that's why there's kind of an awkward break in this video. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, we're just not going to talk about it. Um, got the boys outside. Got them out here to do their business. Um, and then I've got to run to get those pills cut. And go to Meyer, like I said. And come home for the day. Yes. Come home for the day. It's hot out, isn't it, Grant? Yes, it's hot. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to groom Mozzie, who's over here getting a drink. I think I'm going to groom him when I get back home, probably after dinner. I'll probably do it after I make dinner. So his, uh, his beard's smelling kind of nasty. So as you can see, when he gets a drink, Mozzie, he gets his whole front of his face wet. <laughs> Were you laying in that little shade spot? You were just laying in that little shade spot. There's a bigger shade spot way over there. <laughs> Told my husband we should build them. Oh, I don't know what they're called. These things that go over your, you could go over the fire pit, but then has like a, a middle on the top where the smoke can go out of and have it a little further out. 
So there could be like a big shade spot, almost like a pavilion, I guess, but with an opening in the top um, with a cover that when you're, so when you're having a fire, if it's going straight up, it can, it can go out. I don't know. I'd have to design it on paper and show you guys <laughs> so we could have a little shade spot here during the day because during the day, as you can see, there's not much shade in our backyard. There's a little bit of shade under the pine tree. And then as the sun starts going down this way, you start to get shade and then that'll eventually come out further. But you can see Miggy trying to get in that little bit of shade there from the bush. <laughs> you can also come up here and get shade um, from our overhang. So yeah, so okay, I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna get these boys inside and go get the rest of my running around done and call it a day. Um, yeah, so we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.